Good morning children. Just now I shall be dealing with the digestive system in human body. Now we all require food to remain healthy and energetic. Now food it is a combination of various complex substances and uh, it is made up of various inorganic and organic substances. Now human beings cannot make their own food. The animals also, they cannot make their own food. We have to be dependent and the animals also, we have to be dependent on the plants or other animals for our food supply in order to grow and remain energetic. Now this food which we are taking, it comprises of seven components. Namely, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and mineral salts. Now these come under the category of nutrients. Now the other two which are also in the seven components are water and roughage. Now they don't come in the nutrient category but they are also very important for our body. As we take uh, food from outside and we are not able to prepare our own food in our body so we are called or the animals, animal group also they are called heterotrophic. Now because we take holozoic, because we take solid food, we are known as having the system of or the mode of nutrition, it is called holozoic nutrition. Thus, mode of nutrition found in animals, including human beings, it is holozoic in nature. Now, nutrition in human beings. Now, here in this chapter which you are having, it is only dealing with nutrition in human beings. Now, nutrition in human beings requires five steps. Namely, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. Now, in ingestion, it is the process of taking food. That is what we eat. That is called ingestion. Okay. Now, next comes digestion. The food which we have taken in already, which has gone inside our body, inside our stomach. Now, it is complex. And it has to be uh, made into smaller food particles. That happens how? By chewing the food. And these smaller particles which has gone in, inside our uh, uh, stomach, that has to get uh, mixed up with uh, digestive juices. So, digestion in our bodies, it is extracellular. And with the help of digestive juices, it becomes simple, simple and uh, water soluble particles. And this system, it is called digestion. Now, there are various organs which bring about the digestion of food. The next comes absorption. The absorbed food, after digestion, it passes through the walls of the intestinal uh, walls and gets mixed up with the blood. And then they are carried into various parts of the body. But... Uh, the, the time when they come into the blood, it is called absorption. Then we have assimilation. Now the blood which is carrying the absorbed food, it is carried to different parts of our body for growth and uh, repair of body cells and to get energy. And this process is called assimilation. Now we come to the last part that is ejection. The undigested waste materials, which are no more to be utilized by the body, it has to be eliminated from the body. So, it is called ejection. Now, the moment we take food in our mouth, we have two major items in our mouth. That is the teeth and the tongue. Now, food in the mouth, the digestion of food in the mouth begins the, the digestion of food in the mouth only begins. And this is helped out with the help of the teeth. Okay. Now the mouth which we are having. It is an opening. And uh, through this. Uh, inside this opening. We are having a big cavity. And the cavity is having teeth and tongue. And this teeth. It is meant for chewing and grinding the food. And then with the help of the tongue, it passes and other salivary juices, it is passed inside our bodies. With the help of the, that is the mouth cavity is connected to the oesophagus. 
then the stomach, then the small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. The whole uh, organs, all these organs from the mouth till the anus, it is called the alimentary canal. Now, as you know just now, I have told you that the teeth, it helps in chewing the food. Now, there are two types of teeth which human beings are having. That is primary teeth and permanent teeth. Primary teeth comprises of uh, around 20. And it begins growing at the age of 4 to 5 months. When the baby is born and he is of 4 or she is of 4 to 5 months, then the teeth comes out in the mouth and um, it uh, finishes its coming out till the age of 2 years. This is also known as milk teeth or deciduous teeth. After this, the next set of growth will begin, that is the per permanent teeth will come later on after these teeth will get broken up. So as the child grows, the teeth they keep falling one by one till all have fallen and the new teeth comes up and that is known as permanent teeth. Now this permanent teeth comprises of 32 in number in an adult human being. Have you understood? 32 in number. So it's quite a big number. Okay. Now here we have the types of teeth which are present in our bodies. Now the first one, the first type we consider is the incisor. Incisors are just in front. Just as you open your mouth in front, you will have sharp broad teeth. It is meant for cutting, cutting of the food. Okay. And this is the incisor. This lower part, it goes inside the jaws. The upper part only you are able to see in your mouth. Lower part is embedded in your jaws. Okay. Now there are Four incisors in the upper jaw. To this side, to that side. Okay, upper jaw, lower jaw, there are four incisors. So, four, four. So, to this side, to this side. Okay, then just after the incisors, you have a pointed type of teeth. It is known as, it is singular. On both sides of the upper jaw, you will have singular pointed teeth. It is known as canine. And this is meant for tearing the food. The incisors are meant for cutting the food. The food when you take in your mouth, it is meant for cutting the food. And this is meant for tearing the food. Then you come to the premolar. It is the third type of teeth. Okay, it is smaller than the molar. It is smaller than the molar. And it is used for grinding the food. And on top, it is having cusps and ridges. But the molars, it has... Several three to four prongs inside the jaw bones which we are having. Inside it, it is embedded so that it remains firm when we tear or eat or chew anything. It remains firm in our mouths. And this is a little bit bigger than the premolars. And it has got more number of ridges and cusps embedded. Now these are two in number, both sides of the jaw. And this is three in number, that is upper jaw is having six molars. Four premolars, six molars. Now the last two molars which we are having, they are known as also wisdom teeth. When a person grows up, is mature in age, around 20 years or above or 18, 20 like that, it may vary from person to person. So then that time the person gets the last wisdom, uh, last set of uh, uh, molars and um, that is known as the wisdom teeth. Now the tooth, each teeth outside, it is having a coating and that coating is made up of enamel and enamel is the hardest substance, harder than bones which is present in our bodies. Now this enamel, it is made up of calcium hydroxide phosphate and these are crystals and they are bound together by protein called keratin. Now, although the teeth are very hard, that is the enamel, it is so hard, very hard, but still it gets eroded away. Because 
we are not careful about our teeth. So we have to be very careful of our teeth. That is morning we have to brush and clean them. In the evening or night before going to bed we are supposed to brush our teeth and then go to sleep. Now the enamel it gets eroded away if we are not careful about our teeth. And then other pains and then holes huh? or pyria okay, that you will learn later on. So these things can happen. The tooth decay will take place. So now this gets eroded because of the uh, food which we are taking. It is having digestive, uh, uh, it may have some sour, sour material uh, that gets, that makes the hardest part of our body also erode away. Now also by taking uh, um, uh, sticky food like noodles, okay, then burgers, chocolates, etc. which we take, now because of that also the enamel, it gets eroded away. Now in human beings, digestion is extracellular, that is it doesn't take place inside the body, it takes place in the whole elementary canal, okay. Now and it has got the various organs which are helping in the digestion, beginning from the mouth, then the food goes into the esophagus, then the stomach, then the small intestine, large intestine, the rectum and the it is eliminated through the anus. So this digestive system it comprises the whole thing it is called the elementary canal and the digestion of food it uh, uh, is uh, associated with various glands and this uh, these various glands which help in the digestion of food it is called digestive glands now because we take food in the mouth and these are the steps of the various types of teeth present in our mouth. Now it is represented by a formula that is called, that is the whole dentition. Is, it is represented by a formula and it is called dental formula. Now this dental formula is here. I means incisor. Okay. Two on each side of the upper jaw and two on each side of the lower jaw. Then you have the canines. One each just besides the incisors. Then you have the premolars, two, both sides after the incisors, uh, after the canines. And then you have the molars right at the end of our upper jaw, this side, both sides. So total 16 on top and total 16 at the bottom of our jaws. Now, this is known as dental formula. Now, the whole process of digestion we will be studying in the next class. Only this much for today. Okay. Thank you.